Hello and welcome everyone. Um, I'm so happy to be here this evening with you under the full sap moon. Uh, as we are waiting for uh, everyone to hop on, uh, I just want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. And um, I'd love for all of you as you're coming on uh, to let us know uh, your name and where you're joining us from. So please let us know your name and where you're joining us from. Hello, Nancy, welcome. It's so lovely to see you. Um, and I think I see Heidi is on, so welcome. And uh, Neil Lima from California, welcome. Rachel from North Carolina, Gina Louise from Brighton, UK, welcome. It's nice to have you, I know it's late in the UK. And Mariana from Portugal, welcome. And of course, uh, oh, Raquel in Munich, welcome. Wow, so we have a lot of people from Europe joining us. Hi, Lauren from Delaware. Welcome. It's so lovely to have you. So welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're joining us live, uh, if you're watching after the broadcast um, on the replay, I just want to welcome you all to our beautiful full moon this evening. It's really bright and big in the sky, the moon. Um, and it's a special moon for a couple of reasons. Uh, so we have uh, the Virgo, it's a, in the full moon in Virgo, and it's also uh, a sap moon. Hi, Ashley, it's so lovely to have you. Ashley, Ashley from Phoenix, welcome. So before we get started and into uh, too much conversation and talking, I just want to take a moment because this moon is in Virgo and you may have noticed, hi Joanna from France, um, that it's a particularly emotional full moon. I'm not sure if any of you have connected with the emotions of the moon this month. So what I'd like to do before we get into um, too much more sharing is for us to all take a moment to really drop in. So I'm going to welcome you to just take a moment, take a couple of centering breaths through the nose, breathing deeply right down into your pelvic bowl. The seat of your emotions lie in the second and third chakra. So the pelvic, between the pelvic bowl and the navel. This is the solar area of your body and where all of our emotions live. So I'm just gonna welcome you to drop in with some deep breaths, breathing right down into your pelvic bowl. And just take a moment to sit with your emotional world. And just see what, what's been stirring for you. What has been stirring or stirred up for you in this full moon? I just take a few breaths and silence to be with that inquiry inside. And can you put a name to that feeling? And can you go underneath whatever the first feeling was and go deeper, a deeper inquiry still? 
what's underneath that first emotion that came up? And maybe there's more than one. And just take a moment to bring what your experience has been up to the surface. And let's just take a moment and share. Connecting with that with your emotional center, dropping in to your belly, into your pelvic bowl. How did that inform the question? What brings you to our circle tonight? So I'm just gonna give a moment for you to write your answer into the chat, into the comment section. And for us to just open our circle with some deep shares, these, this deep dive that we made into our pelvic bowl to ask what emotions have been stirred or are stirring under this moon? And what is it? What is it that's bringing us here tonight? Or what are we bringing here tonight? So what is it that brings you here tonight? Or what is it that you are bringing here tonight into our circle? So I'll just take a moment and some water as I wait. And I know it takes some time to type. And I wanna give you the space to really be able to check in and drop in and connect and know with some clarity what brings you here. So Nalima says a need to release the past. Gina says fed up with, sorry, let me go back here. Fed up with holding on with resistance, ready to let go of the burdens. Uh, deeper emotions of disappointment, hurt, and shame. Wow, thank you so much for sharing that, Gina. Um, I have a sense that in, in the depths of this Virgo moon, of the Sat moon, we're all feeling with, we're all in resonance with these deeper emotions. So thank you so much for naming them. So Nalima actually said a little bit more, a need to release past feelings of powerlessness, in my social impact work and powerfully move into my new work. Beautiful. It's actually an interesting time for um, social impact work. Uh, you might wanna do some reading, a little bit of reading up on the, the um, significance of this Virgo moon. Um, and that in fact, we're being called into a higher action, higher consciousness around social impact. So how, what a beautiful resonance. Thank you, Nalima. Oh, and welcome Caroline from Netherlands. Um, Joanna Blake, beautiful. Joanna shares feeling really energized and inspired. So the other side of the shadow, Joanna is holding the light, beautiful. Ashley, fear of uh, repeating the past and of change a deep longing to manifest into my true self. Beautiful, thank you, Ashley. That is such a beautifully deep share from your heart and thank you so much. Rachel Wood, fear, letting fear holding me back from life uh, and wanting, needing to embrace and accept more of who I am and actually do more of what I am called to do. Beautiful. So. As we are forming in our virtual circle, whether you've shared your deep emotional, uh, what you're bringing into the circle or what um, you are intending for our circle, just know that 
whether you've shared it out loud or in your heart, that we're all here holding our intentions personally and collectively for each other. Um, I'll just read this last one that's come in. Mariana says, um, emotions unbalanced and unhealthy rush or need to constantly surpass myself is what I've been feeling, but also optimism. What brought me here is my deeper need to connect with something bigger than me. And what a perfect segue, because that is so much of what we're doing in these full moon meditations is to connect not only um, with the grander energy of the moon and the divine feminine, but with each other, with our circle of goddesses that we gather here monthly under the full moon and how beautiful it is to have this shared space uh, to, to really um, not only hold space for ourselves and for each other, but to literally um, be with the divine feminine and hold, welcome that energy in to the earth, uh, into you know our own uh, soul psychic awareness um, and doing that together, I think is so wonderful. So I'm just gonna welcome you. Um, I'm just gonna check my agenda to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Um, okay, so let's take a moment to just connect our circle in a more uh, vivid way. So I'm gonna welcome you. Today, I'd really like to use the image of um, the Earth Mother and how the Earth Mother, I mean, the beauty of the Sap Moon is if you're living in, in uh, north of the equator, um, as most of us, I think, are on the live cast said, uh, we are. So we're experiencing that transition into springtime. So uh, with the earth being frozen for all of winter, and now there's a thawing happening. And for those of us who live where there's maple trees, um, you you might also have had the experience of like in a school trip going to tap the um, the maple tree for the maple syrup. So uh, you know we call it sugar bush out here uh, in Canada, and. So the metaphor of sap is such a beautiful and powerful one, I think, um, because the other other name for this moon is the worm moon, which is also, you know, the earthworms are starting to come to the surface to turn over the soil. So very similarly, life is starting to come back where it's been kind of missing for the last few months, uh, where things have been frozen they are beginning to thaw, where things have lain dormant and appeared kind of dead and lifeless, they are beginning to awaken. So coming back to the metaphor that I'd love to share with you is that of uh, the physical Mother Earth in her, I'm just gonna shift the, so you can see what I'm doing with my arms, um, we can, that holding sense that feeling of carrying and being cradled and being held. So thinking of the Earth Mother kind of being held, sort of em embodied in right in our laps in a way and feeling her fullness. I like to imagine um, the image of these this very voluptuous, large, beautiful, sensual earth goddess literally sitting in my pelvic bowl. So I'm going to invite you to, if that metaphor, if that image calls to you, to sit with that image for yourself and just take a moment to connect with some deep breaths to your own Great Mother Goddess. 
And maybe she comes to you in this image that I have described. And maybe she comes to you in a different way. Just breathe and invite her in. Feel her voluptuousness, her curvaceousness, her abundance, and her spaciousness, her capacity to hold, her capacity to give, her capacity to birth. Just tune into that creative power. And as you connect with that power for yourself, now expand your awareness to all of us connected in this circle live right now, those women who will be joining us in the replay, over a hundred women in our community who are joining this full sap moon. And also thinking of all the other women all over the world sitting in circle for today's full moon. And let's just feel those loops of connection, those circles of connection. And then slowly coming back to your own experience in your own body, in your own pelvic bowl. And coming back to those emotions that showed themselves at the beginning of our inquiry. And then just being still, getting really quiet and thinking about feeling into what is thawing within you, what's been frozen, what's been stuck what's been feeling impossible or maybe even dead that could be coming alive for you? What could have been frozen, stuck, unavailable, that is now starting to flow. What is that for you? Just breathe and be with that inquiry inside your veins, inside your breath, inside your bones, your ligaments, your muscles, your emotions, your energy. What's been frozen that is now unthawing and flowing for you?
Now let this come up to the surface. To your mind. So that you know what it is. And now holding the light of the moon, think of it shining across your face, the full, voluptuous, luminous, beautiful moon shining and lighting up your face, your mind, your heart, your breast, your chest, your belly, your womb, your pelvis, your arms, your legs, your whole back body, right down into your toes. Feel that luminous full moon shining bright, lighting you up. And ask the question, what is waking up from its slumber? What is coming back to life for you that maybe has been asleep? What is coming out of the shadows and into the light? Maybe it's a version of you, a vision of you. And let that version, that vision of you start to constellate in your mind's eye. What do you look like? How do you feel inside? How do you move your body? How do you talk? How do you see? What do you say? Just let this vision and version of you constellate. Now imagine in your mind's eye any any cloak, any covering, any shadow, any darkness, any false beliefs, negative beliefs, limiting beliefs, like a cloak just dropping off like a big coat just being shed. And imagine giving birth to this new version and vision of you, emerging out of this moonlight, shining bright. Feel the skin shedding of the old as you step forward in this new vision and version of you. All that was holding you back, all that was covering you up, all that was keeping you back there is now off your shoulders, released, free, 
emerge from this moon as this new version of you. Breathe deeply and feel what is moving anew, afresh, vividly and abundantly through your veins. See the world through these new eyes and fresh perspective. Step into this fresh new version of you. And then when you're ready, as you open your eyes, come back fully as her. Hold her in your energy, in your body, in your mind, in your emotions, deep, right down deep into your pelvic bowl, into your skin and blood and cells, right down to your toes and the tips of your hair. Come back as her. Come back as her. And I would love to know what came up for you through this journey and exploration of what has been thawing for you and what lay dormant, which is now given way to this newer, fuller, richer, abundant version and vision of you. So I will give you a moment to write your answers in the comments um, and include, if you like, any um, metaphors of what it felt like for you to cast off those dark robes, to emerge from the moonlight uh, and what you're embodying. Who have you come back as? What version and vision of you are you stepping into in the light of this beautiful, uh, renewing and reviving sap moon? All right, let's see. Um, Thea says she felt uh, balancing in her heart and her second chakra. Gina says thawing of the heart, seeding of hope, and new bright magenta Magdalena version of me felt a lighter density. Beautiful, beautiful. And I think others are still writing, so I'll give you a moment. And welcome, Thea. It's nice to have you back. So what version and vision of you, what does that feel like? All right. Nalima says, my medicine for the world was blocked, like a bottle of water with only a small drip. Now it's flowing abundantly out of me because it's safe now. They are ready to receive my fullness. Beautiful, beautiful. Caroline DeGraff says, I feel light, this blissful, lovable, warm mother. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, Caroline. Thank you, Nalima. And as we are... Um, stepping in to the month of March. It's so beautiful that we've had this full moon right at the beginning of March. I would really love to invite you to keep working with the energies of the mother archetype, um, as well as 
the springtime maiden archetype, which is what we're stepping into as we step into spring in the Northern hemisphere. So uh, before I go on, I'll share that Joanna says, releasing myself, my creations into the world and birthing my book, beautiful. Rachel says, coming out from the deep water, I feel light and full and radiant of passion and self-compassion. Thank you, Rachel. And Mariana says, what was dormant or sleeping was just joy, pure child's joy and self-acceptance, love for myself. I felt the creativity and joy I hold in me. And as I felt the moonlight with your words resonating in my head, I felt super light, beautiful. And Ashley says, letting go of doubt and thawing hope and ability to show up as myself once again. Beautiful, Ashley. And Kendra says, and welcome, Kendra. Goosebumps. Oh, to Nalima. Thanks for sharing. Beautiful. So, you know, like I was saying, we're stepping into the energy of spring in the northern hemisphere, into the fall in the southern hemisphere. And what is beautiful about that is every season brings with it a new energy, a new archetype. And that's what I love to explore through these full moon meditations, as well as through the moon meditations that some of you have recently uh, got from the Yoga Goddess website. And then if we go on to go even deeper through the moon goddess work and this embodiment of our goddess energies and the archetypal feminine and the exploration that comes from diving deep into our own feminine fluids and bodies and wombs and menstrual cycles. And in that exploration, there's so much to cultivate, so much to discover about ourselves. And for you as an individual, you have so much wisdom that is buried inside of you, hidden secretly. And I really want you to have the key to open, open that knowledge, open that wisdom, get access to what knowledge and wisdom is laying dormant within you. And this was just the beginning, right? It was just a, a little bit of a, a sneak peek at what's there lying dormant. Really, there's a whole world in us full of possibility, full of radiance and abundance and richness. And most of us just don't know how to access it. You know, when I first got into connecting with my divine feminine, I was amazed at the amount of knowledge and wisdom that was literally downloaded to me from the divine. And it all came through connecting with my womb, connecting to the goddess, connecting to my menstrual cycle, and, and cycling with consciousness, with awareness through the archetypes of the maiden, the mother, the enchantress, and the wise woman. And some of you are more familiar with this work than others. Some of you have started to do that exploration through the moon meditations um, that I mentioned earlier. Uh, that cycle and through your whole cycle, you listen to one meditation a week to start to connect for yourself and the archetypal feminine through your own menstrual cycle. But then that deeper dive is really through the moon goddess work. And the way I created it, created it was with yoga and meditation, charting your cycle with the moon, understanding your rhythms and how they manifest for you weekly and monthly, what that looks like for you when you are, uh, you know, journeying with your ovulation time and your own summer mother energy where you're fertile and abundant. How does that look for you? How does that feel for you? How do you connect with your partner? How do you experience your fertility or your creativity? And through Moon Goddess, how do you amplify and make that more abundant and potent? whether it's to get pregnant or to conceive a book or give birth to a business or a life path. That's what I want for all of you to really give birth to what it is that you want to bring into this world. 
And so I'll just um, leave you with that idea, plant that seed, that if you're looking for a deeper dive, a deeper journey into yourself, into your rhythms of menstruation and the moon, into your own accessing your own gifts and knowledge, it's all there waiting for you to receive it. So I welcome you into uh, checking out our Moon Goddess program, seeing if that is a pathway in for you. Thank you, Nalima. Uh, thank you, Kendra. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Thea, Maria, Rachel, Joanna, Carolina, Gina, Louise. Um, I think that's, I got everyone. Thank you, thank you, uh, Heidi and Nancy for being here. And if you have anything else you want to share, please feel free to write it in the comments, how this meditation was for you, how you're feeling now, uh, what you're bringing forward into the month of March. And we're still at the beginning of 2018. So it's still the perfect time uh, to plant those seeds and allow them to blossom and cultivate as we step into spring. Um, so I, I hope that you'll check out Moon Goddess. We're sending actually a special offer by email. So watch out for that uh, in the replay email tomorrow. I'm sending you lots and lots of full sap moon love. I hope all your fluids are abundantly flowing, whether you're menstruating or ovulating. This was the first time in a long time that I ovulated with the full moon. And I found it a uh, beautiful synchronistic metaphorically with the fluidity uh, to be seeing that for myself. So whether you're menstruating or, or ovulating or somewhere in between or pregnant, I wish you abundance, 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 richness, fullness, love, prosperity, guidance, beauty, and the manifestation of all your heart's desires. Sending you lots and lots and lots of love. Bye for now and have a really, really good evening and good night.